हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फेम वर्ल्ड एजुकेशनल हब हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू फेम वर्ल्ड एजुकेशनल हब माय सेल्फ ऐश्वर्या सक्सेना एंड दिस इज द चैनल यूट्यूब चैनल फेम वर्ल्ड एजुकेशनल हब ऑन विच यू आर वाचिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो दिस इज द प्ले लिस्ट सेक्शन ऑफ चैनल एंड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज सर्व द प्ले लिस्ट सेक्शन बिकॉज इट इज कंटेनिंग अ लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज on computer science and different programming languages for you to learn so this is a series of kinter programming and i am just going to start the new lecture today the new program the fourth video this is and i hope you have watched the last three videos in this series and uh, now i'm just going to start the new one the new program and we will study some more new stuff in this video so see watch the video till end okay So now I'm just going to create. I'm just going to create again the window. I'm using Win dot geometry, and this Win dot geometry is basically used. I already told you in the last video as it is used to give this uh, width and height of our window. Now what I'm going to do this in this particular video, I'm going to use some labels and some text boxes. I'm taking this name in our window. then the text which will appear on this is name and uh, again i'm just going to one, give one more label email and i'll just take label then the text which will appear will be email id say email id like this after that i'm going to take password a new label and i will just pass it in the window the text may be password yes password so i have created three labels here and now i am just going to create text box when we want to create text boxes in kinter that is in python gui we have to use entry class we will use entry class so i am just going to take entry this is just a variable entry1 equals to entry and entry this entry is the class of which we are creating one object entry other i'm just going to copy paste it and i'm just going to make the changes because we want three entries so i'm taking three entries here one two three and what i will do i will just pass them to the window so they will appear in the window okay now i'm just going to create a check button that is check box when we are talking about check boxes in kinter that is python gui programming we use the check button class so when text equals to um, say keep me logged in if this particular program will not give any functionality right now we will work on the functionality in the further videos positively but this will just create the gui the window using which we will like see how to create entries labels and many more things so stay tuned to the last So don't skip the video. Now I'm just going to bind them. Now the main thing I'm just going to start with some new things here. I'm just going to demonstrate what is the concept of grid. We have used back in the previous lectures. We have used back in the previous lecture to bind or to add the objects, the components to our window. But when we are talking about grid, so grid is just like the combination of rows and columns. Okay, when we are talking about grid, grid is a combination of rows and column, so it works like that. Sim similarly, the table. So now I'm just going to use grid here. I'm not using path this time. I'm using grid. So I'm just binding it. Uh, the row by default, the row and the value of column is zero only. But uh, here I'm just uh, giving it to show you how we give the row and column. So this is by default zero only. If we are not giving, then also it will come to the zero through and zero column. That is the first position. Then password. Dot grid. And here I am going to give row one. Row equals to one. This will come in the next row. Then we will okay. Actually we will take first of all we will take email dot grid, and that will come in the row one, and the password will come actually in the row two. That is zero one and two. uh and the position is 1 2 3 okay on the window so the indexing is like 0 1 and 2 okay 
so i'm just removing this also it is not so far required okay i was just telling you that uh, by default it is zero and zero if you are not giving then also it is working like that now i'm just going to pack the entries so when we are talking about entries entry one dot grid now we want this entry in front of the name so row would be one only uh, zero only but the column will change to one okay we want it in front of the first one now i'm just going to copy paste it and i'm just going to make the changes see this is the second entry this is the third entry and what we want we want want this one in front of email so the row one and this in front of password so the row two so we have given these things now we have just packed the elements the uh, we have added the elements to our window now the check box is still remaining i am just going to use check dot grid and see how we perform call span in html same we can perform column span here also i am just spanning two columns so it will by default come in the center whenever we use spanning the components by default come to the center win dot main loop now i'm just going to run it and just see the output we have given the geometry 200 by 100 Okay. Actually, the output is here. Yes. Now you can see this is the output. Now you can see we are getting name, email, password, and in front of that we are getting three text boxes. We haven't used button in this particular program. You can use this by uh, use it by your own and just uh, send the code in the comment section. I will check it if it is correct. Okay. Now see that uh, here I am just going to type. no validations are here right now we haven't used any validation but right now we are working with the front end so front end of our application if we want to create some forms or something we will work on the validations also in this series only so just stay tuned so we will come to that portion also now i am just taking some email and after that i am going for the password say i have taken 9999 as a password but see what happening we uh, the password is appearing in numerics but we do not want to see the password because it is a password field so what we should do to create password fields in kinter so it is so easy now as we know this was the password field and this is the entry for the password field so what we have to do we have to just use show equals to asterisk and this show equals to asterisk with will convert our text into the password one the asterisk we can give anything like dot at the rate whatever we want to use any alphabet even so whatever we will type it will just show us as that particular show value whichever we are giving so you can try it with different values see now the password is coming like asterisk and the check box is also working properly whenever we will just fetch the values in the further videos in um, upcoming videos we will fetch the values of these uh, fields also then you will see that this is coming like this right now but uh, when we will fetch the value it will just give us the actual value which we have typed in the password field okay so this is for today's video and i hope you are good with it you are able to understand if you are having some issues or some queries regarding this particular video or with other videos also then also you can just uh, comment your query into the comment box if you like the video then share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel subscribe the channel and press the notification bell so you will start getting the notifications of my latest uploads stay tuned see you in the next lecture